Hey Aranko, my name is Vladdy. And my name is Bella. And we're from the Aranko class of 2017. And welcome to the 400th episode of Orca Live. So, over the last 18 years, 2 months, and 18 days, we've put so much hard work into every single episode, including this one. I remember 6 years ago sitting behind the mixer board making all of the special effects on the show. I was an anchor and I was so nervous every single time. Well, we hope you enjoy this show. Hi everybody, it's Mark Mason, the public address announcer for your Portland Trail Blazers, and you are watching Orca Live! Lights, camera, audio, action. Hi Rango, I'm Aiden. I'm Anthony. I'm Grace. I'm Aria. I'm Ava. I'm Sarah. And I'm Abby. Hello, Orenko, and welcome to the 400th episode of Orca Live. Thanks for tuning in, Orenko. It's February 3rd, 2023, and we're coming at you from Studio B at Orenko Elementary School in Hillsborough, Oregon. Wait, Orca Live? I thought the name was changed for now. Well, it's not live? This is a special show. We're going old school with the name. We may not be live when you're seeing this, but this is Orca Live. That works for me. Orca Live just sounds right. Hey, does this place feel smaller to anyone else? For sure. This building has definitely been shrinking since we left. Could it be that we've grown taller? No. no. The building is definitely shrinking. Anyway, Renko, we are thrilled to be back and hosting this very special show. 400 episodes. That's a lot of Orca Live footage from over the years. We've been trying to figure out how to celebrate a big milestone like 400, and then it hit us. This show will be all about numbers. But we'll get to that in a minute. Let's start with your weekend weather check. Now, we're predicting this quite a ways in advance, but what we think will happen is a rainy weekend with highs around 50 and lows in the mid-30s. Pretty bold prediction for the Portland area in February, hmm? Well, let's get into news from around the school with a story about us. We told you that today's show is about the numbers. Let's get to some of those right now. Starting with number seven, as in there are seven of us here anchoring live today, and seven of us are in 12th grade, which means we're all graduating this year. Six years ago, we were here at Aranko having fun on the Orca Live set, and now we're back during season 18 for the 400th episode. 400, not a bad number. Wait a minute. Since Orca Life started in November of 2004, that means it's 18 years old. We're seniors. We're turning 18 this school year. When again is Orca Life's birthday? It's November 22nd when the first show happened. Okay, who was born closest to Orca Life? Well, no, I was, I was, the, I was October 23rd, so I was before. Okay. I was before. I was before. Before. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Whoa, I was born nine days after Orca Live. Like nine actual days. Like a week went by, and then two days, and then boom, me. <laughs> I wonder if you're the first Orca Live crew member born after the first episode aired. Since we can't look up everyone's birthdays from back then, we'll never know. But one thing is certain, 2004 and 2005 gave the world Orca Live, and all of us. Now for a little more, let's send it down to Anthony and Aiden. <clears throat> Thanks, Grace. Well, Renko, our next number is 17, as in there have been 17 completed seasons of Orca Live coming into this year. Wait, if the show's 18 years old, how, how come it hasn't completed 18 seasons? Because of the pandemic. When we had the year of online school, there wasn't an Orca Live season. Sure, we had a couple of special event broadcasts, but we can't really call it a season. We should, like, film random stuff uh, in the set of 2020 to 2021 school year and call them the lost episodes for Renko Live. Don't give Mr. Footer more to do, because he might try. Anyways, 17 seasons. That's a lot of seasons. And every year we inch closer to 20. Uh, the next several numbers are mystery numbers, like how many guests have we had and which guest has appeared on the most shows. I've got to think it's Blip, followed by the Science Fairy. 
I think you're right. But how many times has Blip or the Science Fairy appeared on the show? We'll never know. More mystery numbers. How many songs have we sang? How many shows were in this afternoon, in the morning, and how many commercials have we made in total? All great questions, but unfortunately, we just don't have the time to look them all up. But speaking of commercials, we've got to relieve, relive one today. I mean, what's a milestone show without a little bit of past footage? On that note, kick back, everyone, and enjoy a classic Orca Live commercial and a blast from the past with Orenko's Greatest Hits. <laughs> You need a few new songs for your playlist? Need some tunes to keep you going over summer vacation? Then you need a Renko's Greatest Hits. Each song on this amazing album will remind you of the good old days of Orenko Elementary School. You can enjoy great songs like the homework song. Some nights I stay up doing all my homework. Some nights I study for tests. Some nights I work. The homework song will keep you ready to study day or night, and if you study, you know what happens. That's right, you get a gotcha, like the gotcha song! One way or another, I'll get a gotcha, I'll get a gotcha, 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 one night, I'll get some smarties, I'll get some smarties, and then I'll eat them, I'll eat them! But it's not all fun and games, sometimes things get serious. Exactly, serious like in the fire drill song. Oh. Let's get back to some fun. And what's more fun than the classic Read This Maybe? Hey, I just read this. So good it's crazy. Now here's a bookmark. And read this maybe. It's hard to put down. They want to train me. Now here's a bookmark. And read this maybe. Plus, if you order today, you get some bonus tracks. Ever forget to put your name on your paper? Try listening to Put Your Name on It. And on those days when you weren't ready for a test and you're feeling sad, just cue up the study song. Mm, too young, too dumb to You could have all these tracks and more by ordering Orenko's Greatest Hits today. Operators are standing by. Don't forget to pick up your Orenkos. They're so good they might even make you cry. Man, I forgot how tasty these were. Can't get too many Orenkos. All right, Orcas, time to send it down to Sarah and Abby for some more news. <laughs> Thanks, Aiden, and hey, Aranko, it's good to be back. Your next numbers are 401, as in today's the 400th episode, but let's talk about episode number one. Episode one aired way back on November 22nd, 2004. That first episode was only about five minutes long. It only had a couple stories and even featured a few jokes. Oh, we don't talk about the jokes. Why not? They're pretty bad. They couldn't have been ba that bad. What were they? <sighs> okay, you asked for it. Why does the Statue of Liberty stand in New York Harbor? Um, I don't know. Because it can't sit down. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Here's another one. Where was the Declaration of Independence signed? In Philadelphia. Well, yeah, but it was signed at the bottom. Ooh, with those jokes, how did the show even survive? Okay, okay, 
In honor of the very first show, I think we should tell a couple of jokes today. I promise they'll be good. I'm not so sure that's a great idea. Too late. Here goes. What do you call a beehive without exits? Uh, I don't know. Unbelievable. Like, unbelievable. Oh, boy. Okay. Can we move on now? No, 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 no. Okay. One more. Which days are the strongest? I don't know. Uh, Thursday and Friday? No. <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. The rest are weekdays. Whoa. Wow. Well, Aranko, you'll have to decide whether or not our jokes have gotten better over the course of the 400 episodes. Okay, now that we've had enough of the jokes, let's get back to number one. This time, one stands for the number of Orca Live documentaries that have been made. There's an Orca Live documentary? Yeah, former crew member Abby McCarthy made a short documentary as part of her senior project. That's super cool, and we should absolutely take a look at it. Agreed. We've never shown this before, and we're not going to show the whole thing, but we'd like to show some, you some snippets. It's pretty cool. Here goes. Lights, camera, audio, action. Lights, camera, audio, action. What do you love about work a lot? That the whole school gets to see you. I like it because it's really fun and people get to see you do all kinds of stuff. Uh, my name is Max and I'm an anchor on Work Alive. Why did you want to be a part of Work Alive? It just always seemed fun. Uh, I was new here and it sort of just helped me make new friends. It was just a really cool experience. Um, because it's like fun. It looked fun to me, it, even though I, when I first did it, um, it was like a little bit um, nerve-wracking and I was nervous. I just really liked how you were kind of so in control and it was more the kids doing it, not just the teachers doing the whole thing. I wanted to be a part of Orca Live because I wanted to be a role model to younger kids. Because I've always saw people doing it when I was in younger grades and I wanted to do it. Um, I wanted to be a role model for younger kids because they really look up to the people in Orca Live. So I wanted to be a good role model. Um, I don't know, it's kind of, I've been at the school my whole life and it's always fun watching the older kids do it. So when I finally got to the grade it was, I just really wanted to do it because it was like, I guess it was kind of my dream ever since I was in kindergarten. That's what makes Orca Live special. There's nothing else like it. I remember going in there every week and hanging out with all my friends. And I go back every year to help with something on the show. And there's just like this excitement when I go. I'm like, oh yes, I get to be a part of Orca Live again. It's something that I'm very proud of, my time on it, and that I always want to give back to. That was super cool. Well done, Abby. All right, Arenko, our next number is 400, as in 400 episodes. Former, former Orca Live crew members, Bella and Vladdy, have a little something to say about that. They weren't able to join us for the broadcast today, but they did tell us they would try to help us understand how big 400 really is. They dropped by Arenko the other day to do just that. They may have gotten a little distracted on set, but we think they eventually came up with something for 400. Let's look at the footage now. Dude, you're you're never gonna get this one, like ever. Okay. Uh, Z. Nope. Q. No. One more chance. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna solve it. Okay. Four hundredth Go episode of Orc Alive is today. How how'd you get that? Uh, well, lucky guess. And dude, remember all the props on Orc Alive? That's oh the best my part. Gosh, yeah. I'm too bad we couldn't find any. Yeah. We need a way to show people how big 400 really is. I know, I just don't know how, but... Oh, I have an idea. Okay. Of course. Ta-da! I, I mean, that's a big number, but... I mean, there's gotta be a better way! 
Dude, I, I found 400 note cards. Isn't it crazy? I found 400 paper clips. I, I don't think it's gonna cut it. It's not gonna really show how big of a number 400 really is. There's gotta, gotta be, be a, a better, better way. way. 400 paper clips. Isn't it a lot? Well, 400 note cards. I think mine wins. Um, it's kind of a mess. Yeah. Was this the greatest idea? Probably not. Um, Footer, do you want to help us clean up? Yeah. In all seriousness, 400 episodes is a lot, and we couldn't be more proud of the work that's got into it. Yeah, we are. Back to your regular show. Thanks for those visuals, you two. I hope it didn't take too long to clean up, Mr. Footer. All right, Orenko, moving on to the next number, which is 367. That is the number of students who have been Orca Live crew members over the previous 17 seasons. 367 is quite a few people, and it's something we're really proud of. We wanted to find a way to properly honor that, so some of our current crew members took the time to write the name of each and every crew member on a sticky note. Check this out. If you're wondering about the blue sticky notes, those represent students from the very first crew. And the red ones at the bottom show the names of the crew members so far this year. That's a lot of names and a whole lot of people who have come through the program. And you know who has a lot to say about that? A bunch of those former students. They took part in a giant video montage celebrating this Orca Live milestone. Let's check it out now. Hello, Orenko. We are former Orca Live crew members here to help with today's celebration. We hope you're having a wonderful school year and that 2023 has been good to you so far. We are so excited to be a part of this video montage celebrating 400 episodes of Orca Live. 400 episodes? How in the world do we properly celebrate this milestone? Let's start with this. Not counting this year, 367 different students have been crew members over the years. So you could name one student for every day of the year and still have two students left? That's a lot of students. That's almost as many kids as there are episodes of the show, and that's not even including anyone twice, even if they were on crew for two years. The smallest Orca Live crew is the original one, way back in 2004 to 2005, and that crew featured just 15 students. What was the biggest Orca Live crew, you ask? Well, twice there have been an Orca Live crew of 48. If you ran to the nearest student, the average Orca Live crew would be 31 students. Since the show started back in 2004 to 2005, that means the oldest Orca Live students are now around 30 to 31 years old. Yep, there are Orca Live crew members out in the world everywhere. Some of us are even working for the Hillsborough School District. Orca Live students are living in different states and countries. Some have already worked several years in a career. And of course, there are former Orca Live crew members still in middle school, high school, and college. Do we mention that we're everywhere? In this video you're currently watching, you'll see at least one crew member from each previous season of Orca Live. That's 17 seasons. Those of us from season one remember when the equipment wasn't quite as advanced as what the students use today. Over 400 shows. You sure had a lot of adventures together. So many staff spotlights and so many great level glimpses. And tons and tons and tons of puns. And yes, we are proud of all the puns. Or at least Mr. Footer is. <laughs> anyway, here are a few thoughts that we have about those 400 episodes. Let's start with everything that goes into making just one episode of that show. For the most part, you only see the anchors when you watch an Orca Live episode. But the anchors are just one part of the show. Did you know that there is a whole backstage crew working as well? While the anchors are doing their thing, students are running all kinds of equipment behind the camera. And don't forget the backstage crew making sure everything's running smoothly and that our guests know what to do. And students who have written stories or prepared graphics before practice even begin. It's a lot of moving pieces and all of the Orca Live jobs are important. The show really is a team effort. That team effort has produced these 400 episodes during 18 seasons. That has to be a lot of minutes of Orca Live. To be fair, we don't know the actual length of an average episode, but the best we could do is take an educated guess. And that educated guess is that the average episode of Work Alive is 14 minutes long. All right, let's do a little math here. 400 times 14 is 5,600. 5,600 divided by 60 is 93.3. That means included in today's show, that's 93 hours of Work Alive. Wow. So if you sat down to watch all the Work Alive episodes in a row, it'd probably take you around four days to watch them all. 
So what keeps things going for 400 episodes? Well, we all love doing Orca Live because it's something that we got to create for Aranko. Something that you know everyone in school would see. Something that would highlight news from every grade. And of course, Orca Live was something that was really fun to put together. Just think of all the cool things we've done. We filmed our very own dramas like Where's Blip, The O Team, and The Orca Bunch. We've done team up episodes in collaboration with LTV students from Liberty High School. We've made plenty of our own commercials. Speaking of which... Does anybody have some Marinko O's handy? Those are good. We've gone out to the community to film footage and interview people on behalf of the Hillsborough Schools Foundation. We've even been part of a couple of Hillsborough Schools Foundation auctions where we got to perform for a live audience. We've taken field trips to news studios like KGW and Fox 12 to see how the pros put together the news. We interviewed iCarly herself, Miranda Cosgrove, while she was here for the Washington County Fair. We've donned the orca costumes and given ourselves ocean names to bring you orchidy. We've gone all over for the perfect camera angle, under benches, on the roof, and even in garbage cans. And then there are guests on the show. You never know who might show up on the Work Alive set. Like students from K to 6, read to share their learning with the rest of the school. Or Oranko staff members. One time, Oranko staff members even anchored on an episode of the show. The boosters have shown up from time to time to advertise a jogathon or other fundraisers. You know, former students often return to the show. Whether it be for special episodes like the 400th or not. Because sometimes, sometimes we just like to show up for fun. You might see recurring visitors to the show too, like the Science Fairy. You gotta admit, Science Fairy's pretty cool. Yeah, the Science Fairy is the coolest. She has all the sciencey knowledge you'll ever need. There's also our favorite friend Blip, who's been responsible for a whole lot of things on Orca Life. Like when Blip got lost, when Blip pretended to get lost, or when Blip taught us all about phobias, or when Blip was advertising his thumb workout, or when he ran that contest, or when he was trying to become president of the solar system. Or when Blip spent time in Disneyland and went to go visit Cinderella. Wow, Blip really has done a lot on the show. Darth Vader is also known to show up from time to time, though usually when he's around, he's causing some sort of trouble. Outside the visitors, we've had some pretty crazy things happen on the show, like all the epic laughing fits from our anchors. Or Anchor suddenly breaking into song in the middle of a broadcast. Anchors proclaiming their eternal love for gotchas, complete with a poem and everything. That parody of the voice we did was pretty fun. I'll never forget my four chair turn. At least twice students have appeared as floating heads on the show. Thanks, green screen. There was also that time when it was raining teddy bears, which is a lot more terrifying than you would think. And then there was a time that the equipment froze up in the middle of a live show. And that was it for that one. Of course, a milestone like 400 episodes doesn't happen without a bunch of help. So, we like to send some thanks. First, to all of Arenko's students and staff over the past 18 years. There simply isn't a show without people watching it. Thanks for being our audience. To the Hillsborough Schools Foundation, your support over the years has been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for everything. To the Aranko Booster Club, you have enhanced our show in so many ways, from advertising events to helping us get props and, and equipment. Your support has been huge. And of course, thank you so much to every single student who has ever appeared on the show or worked on an Orca Live episode. As we leave you today, we want to reflect quickly on one aspect of the show that we are really proud of. So many of us in this video don't know each other, and maybe never will. But we do all have this thing in common, and that's Orca Life. So even though we don't know each other, we're all still connected. We think that's pretty cool, and we wish the students on this year's crew the best of luck. Have fun and enjoy every moment. Well, thanks again for letting us join you in today's celebration, Orenko. It's been fun. Thanks for supporting us all these years, and thanks for watching any of the 400 episodes you've seen. You never know when you're going to see us around again, but for now, we'll just say, back to the show. That was awesome. Thanks to everyone who participated. Well, Arenko, we don't have a whole lot more to say or to do, but there is one thing we really should have on this special show. That's right. 
Those of you who have been watching us for a while know that one of our favorite things to do is play our favorite game show, Orkady. And what an honor it is to welcome back the host of Orkady from six years ago. We got Anthony, Sir Rainbow Fish, and Staria Fish. Wow, Renko, thanks so much for having us. It feels like it's been years. It has been years, as in six years. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's review how this works. We will have two rounds, single Orkady, which is multiple choice, and final Orkady where you will have to come up with the correct response all on your own. Good luck, everyone. And as always, remember to give your response in the form of a question. Here is the first clue. We know Orca Live debuted on November 22nd, 2004. What day of the week was that? Possible responses. What is Monday? What is Tuesday? What is Wednesday? And what is Thursday? Good luck. Oh, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. The correct response is, what is Monday? Very good, Abby, you got it. By the way, does anybody else think it's weird that Orca Live was on Monday? Anyways, here's your second clue. This is the number of school years that Aranko has had without a season of Orca Live. Possible responses. What is three, what is four, what is five, or what is six? Ponder. I've got it. The correct response is, what is five? Absolutely correct, Aiden. There were four years of Aranko before Orca Live happened, plus the year of CDL. All right, here's your final clue for a single Orcady. Orca Live has broadcasts from several locations throughout Aranko. This is the location of the very first Orca Live broadcast. Possible responses. What is the classic hallway set? What is room 203? What is Mr. Footer's room? Or what is the library? Think about it. Oh, I so have this one. The correct response is, what is room 203? Right over there. Indeed, you are correct. In fact, two entire seasons of Orca Live have been done in room 203. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, Orenko, it's now time for final Orkady. This clue is a tough one, unless you're a bit of an Orenko historian. Once again, Orca Live debuted on November 22nd, 2004. On the exact same date, four years earlier, this important ceremony took place. We'll give you some time to think about it. I've got this. My Aranko history game is strong. The correct response is, what is the Aranko Elementary School dedication ceremony? Well done, Ava. And if any of you watching out there got that one, you really do know your Aranko history. Well done. Well, that wraps up Orkady. And that's just about going to do it for episode number 400. Before we go, let's head back to Ava, Aiden, Grace, and Abby. Well, Lorenko, that puts a capper on a 400th show. Thank you so much for having us back. Yeah, it was tons of fun, and for us, a nice trip down Memory Lane. Good luck with the second semester, Lorenko, and good luck to this year's Orca Live crew. Until next time, Orca Live, happy 400, and have a tremendous weekend. Bye! Bye! Bye.